Bennett's British Superbike race one here at Truxton and a brilliant start by, by Peter Hickman on the Smiths Racing BMW slipped through from third on the grid to lead the way not such a good start for Scott Redding off pole position and a huge battle ensues Andy Irwin uh, moving to the front for Honda Racing ahead of Peter Hickman third place held by Jason O'Halloran fourth place by Christian Iden Peter Hickman seesaws back to the front in a thrilling battle with Andy Irwin and then Jason O'Halloran nudges the McCann's Yamaha through as Christian Iden slips beneath Peter Hickman so terrific dice going on and the, the seesawing of the BMWs Christian Iden finds Peter Hickman squeezing past him Jason O'Halloran leading the way Scott Redding hovering on the BYZ Ducati and then a big move by Peter Hickman as they go out into the country, puts him back into the lead before he comes under further attack from the red Honda of Andrew Irwin. The two BYs of Ducatis move into the fray as well. Here comes Redding, and Redding cuts underneath, ruthlessly underneath Peter Hickman at Campbell's into second place. He has Andy Irwin in his sights. And uh, as they come plummeting down towards the club chicane, Jason O'Halloran, not to be outdone, moves the blue Yamaha back in there. Uh, Josh Brooks gets the better of his teammate. And then Andy Irwin, not to be outdone. Oh, massive moment for Irwin, but he is not the least bit put out by that. And he uh, storms back into the lead. Now, though, he has Scott ready for company. It's all down to the final lap. As they come scorching down Brooklands, here comes Scott Redding, he's got to go to the outside. Andy Irwin, uh, riding beyond his years, defends the inside line. And as they come through the final chicane, it's going to be a first ever British Superbike victory for the 24-year-old from Carrick Fergus. Irwin wins it ahead of Redding. Josh Brooks in third place, just ahead of Jason O'Hara. And what a great result for the youngest Irwin brother.